I'd like to introduce Peter Grant. Peter is a founder and managing director of Grant Property, and they have the headquarters in Edinburgh. Uh, Peter, could you tell us something about your company? My wife and I um, set the company up probably 15 years ago uh, when we bought a property as an investment for ourselves. I was still working as a director of a big media company in Scotland, and we decided to uh, buy properties as a long-term investment as a form of pension and uh, we had basically a lot of advice from different people saying we must be mad, must be crazy, um, management companies be very poor, poor contractors would rip us off and we did it anyway and um, our experience was actually very very good and then we went on to buy a second one then had friends come to us and say you know if we could ask us whether we could help them to buy a property for them and uh, it kind of grew from there. With regards to the UK, how does the UK compare to uh, other countries with regards to property investment? The UK seems to um, compare really favourably uh, with other countries. So in the US, for example, the taxation regimes are much stricter. In the UK, we have pretty low risk in terms of the fact that regulation is so high, it means that the risk is very low. Um, the taxation regimes in the UK are also very, very favourable. Property prices are really good value for money when you compare like for like with, for example, many of the big cities in Asia. So overall, our clients from all over the world basically seem to flock to the UK. Is there any sort of long-term trends you, you see within the, within the UK? The long-term trend in the UK uh, with regard to property prices is that the last, if you take the average of the last 30 years, then the increase in property values per annum is 7%, which means that for a typical property which has got bank gearing against it, so perhaps 75% loan to value, then the returns are typically 28% or above. Right, okay. Um, what, side, what type of property should people be looking at to invest in? But we preferred traditional property in the prime locations, in city centre locations, mainly because you get better value for money. So if you take the price per square metre, it's much lower. And um, it's also been around for sometimes, you know, Georgian Victorian property has been around for, what, 100, 150 years. Um, and they'll be here for another 150 years. Quite often in the UK, new build is really designed with a 30 or 50 year time span in mind. Um, and so, for all those reasons, um, we would recommend traditional over new build. So where in the UK would you suggest that someone looks to invest in a property? Maybe a city or, or within an area? Where, where would you, what's your recommendation? Um, first of all, we'd always prefer to go to a large city, um, first and foremost, where there's a big population. Um, and invariably, there's also a big university. We kind of, by default, have ended up renting to the student market which is very very attractive so any of the larger cities in the UK um, tend to have the biggest football teams um, tend to have the largest universities and uh, the key thing is to perhaps choose a property which is in a prime location within one of those cities um, we prefer cities outside London um, mainly because in London the yields tend to be one or two or maybe three percent in prime areas whereas the cities outside London um, we'll probably have a typical yield, but we wouldn't buy a property unless it's got uh, a 7% yield or above. So typically there's 7, 8 or even perhaps 9% yields that we would target in those regional cities. Grant Property have 12 offices in 12 locations. You have uh, clients across 30 countries. You're expanding all the time. And one question would be, why should anyone be looking at investing in the UK from overseas? The UK is attractive for probably several reasons. I think the number one reason is that it's very stable and it's got a fantastic track record in terms of long-term growth and yield performance. So if you contrast the UK with, for example, Hong Kong or Singapore, yields there are one, maybe two percent. Uh, UK, it's 
in the sector we're operating, seven, eight, nine percent. So that's a huge difference. Um, the tax regimes are really good for people living outside the UK. They're almost better than for people living in the UK. Um, you combine those different factors together and the UK is, um, is very, very attractive. I read an article called, called Head versus Heart. Uh, could you explain about that article? There are basically two forms of investment. One is where you buy something as an emotional purchase, you know, buy it very much with your um, heart, so you're imagining it as being somewhere where you live and so on. And the performance tends to be less good in those areas because, you know, you're buying it for a different reason than hard-nosed investment. Um, in the UK, when they looked at the UK, they looked at um, a number of our properties and what we could do, and we could basically buy three, four properties for someone for that kind of money. Um, we fall under the category of very much head rather than heart, so it's based on logic, it's based on investment, it's based on returns, it's based on performance. So it's much more difficult for us to buy someone a home because that's an emotional purchase, but when it comes down to a hard nosed investment, that's where we can help people most. What kind of, uh, as an investor, obviously one of, the, one of the main things I'm looking at is my return on investment. What kind of return on investment can, can people be looking at? The return on investment that we would typically target um, is a combination of the capital increase and the, the yield performance. So in terms of total returns, we're probably looking at uh, 30 to 35% return per annum statistically on average. Obviously one of the questions I always get asked is what will capital appreciation do in the future and uh, I always say to people that <laughs> my guess is as good as anyone's but if you look at the long term trends and you look at what's happening in the economy and so on then um, based on the last 30 years it's not unreasonable to assume that uh, uh, the next 30 years will be broadly similar um, so you know 7% growth per annum and uh, uh, returns on the uh, on that and a geared investment in total of you know sort of thirty percent and above per annum. What makes you most proud of your company? You started the company from nothing, from your first investment. Yeah. What makes you so proud of what you've got, what you've achieved in your own mind? The gr thing that makes me most proud is the uh, the fact that we did some research a year ago into all the clients who invested us. In, through us in the, in the previous 12 months and 100% of clients said they would buy again and 100% of clients said they would refer us to friends. So that tells me that my team or my teams that are involved in the business are doing a really good job and clearly I can't be on top of everything at every point but in terms of um, the client feedback that's quite exceptional and uh, I think that's probably the thing that makes me most proud. Do you have any parting advice? Um, I think my advice would be, and the thing that most clients say to me is they wish they had bought more earlier. And right now in the UK, outside London, because that's slightly different and it's, uh, it's perhaps moved ahead quite a lot uh, over the last few years and arguably is maybe slightly overheated. Um, but uh, my observation would be that now is probably a really good time to invest because the value you can get um, is uh, fantastic. So you're kind of buying at 2006 prices right now, um, which is really good. And so tie those two things together. Um, probably um, acting sooner rather than later makes a good sense, whether it's through us or just investing generally in the UK. I think it's a great time to invest. Okay, thank you very much for uh, your time. Uh, very interesting in talking to you. Uh, and good luck with, uh, with the future. Thank you very much indeed.